Got a jar. Well, let's see if we can go and surprise some people. Let's try not to ruin their day. It's ten past nine. I've got plenty of time. Just as you'd expect, I am running late. Now, I'm not complaining. I don't want you to think I'm complaining here. But this isn't the weather I expected. Saddlebags, I expected you to provide us with glorious wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. I know we're in that there Devon at the moment and we're not in the uh, country of Cornwall but I was expecting a bit better because we are quite close to the border we're a little bit further down the road now heading to Lawnston and uh, I think we're about to be coming down in a few minutes to my final border. I'm hopefully coming into the country of Cornwall. Let's just see, I think it's the Tamar down here. My phone's a little bit too small to read it, but I think it says Tamar. I would like to be coming out with a load of rubbish saying, oh yeah, if I remember correctly, this is the same, I've been down here many times, but I haven't, to the best of my knowledge. Anyway, I don't think I've ever been down there. I love these roads. I don't like is the greasy conditions. Sadly, it's been a bit horrible coming down here. What I'd like to know is why do people insist on designing roads and putting manhole covers right back where you don't want them? Hey up. I spy some motorcyclists. I wonder where they're going and what they're off to. Well, that says River State, hey Mark. So, here we go. We're now entering the fine old county, or country, as I prefer to call it, of Cornwall. There's the River Tamar. And look. Welcome to Cornwall. We've made it. And basically, it's taken me 24 hours. Twenty-four hours and eighteen minutes. Including an overnight stop. I've done 336 miles at an average of 83.3 to the gallon. That's the British gallon. 
it'll be interesting when I convert this to uh, metric the figures will look damned impressive then so here we are we've arrived at Tesco's Launceston all in one piece there's a pretty good array of bikes quite a few Enfields I do feel bad for not bringing the infield down, but there we go. Some of the new style hunters. Quite a few hill lanes. Classic car vendors. Some bigger things like Pan European, as well as the M2 11 in there. Great, can't get to it so far. Right, first to lose and then see. It's a good fucking show. Ready to go. Tail gunners on a really nice Royal Enfield Meteor in a really classy blue. Jeff's leading the way. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a good tour of Tesco's car park. Well, that was great. Thank you very much. See you again next year. Bye. Yeah, I'm only joking. <laughs> this is going to be a cracker. So here we are, and we're off touring at long last. This is what we've come down for. I'll tell you what, though. It's a bit nippy. I've actually had to put me...
uh, heated grips on. That's because I'm only wearing my summer gloves. I didn't bring out my uh, winter ones today. Indeed, I didn't bring out my waterproof ones. They're back in the tent. Any tubby windmills? What's really nice is the drop-off system and the fact that we're also not on a thrash. We're just having a nice gentle ride through some country lanes. Alright, I'm going to pause you for a bit and see what else we see. Indeed it is. Oh, Jeff's gone into Devon. We've been travelling a few minutes now. Isn't it lovely to see the bikes all nicely uh, wandering around? We're back up into Dark Dartmoor. It's lovely just to see a nice line of bikes. We're not thrashing around. Everyone's just toodling along, nice and steady. We should now get quite a nice view of them all as we come up the hill. The Transit and the Mercedes aren't anything to do with us, but we'll let them off that. Ah, uh, that's where I'm staying. So we know where we're going, and we know that we're heading to a 40 mile hour limit anyway. Wondering if Jeff's intending stopping up here for ice creams. That'd be interesting to see. I don't really think it's ice cream weather, it's more soup than a roll, really. This is a stunning bit of road. I don't know whether I recorded it yesterday, I think I did. See if the ice cream van's there again. I'm told he's there all year round, but Walt is not there. And everything's so I didn't miss. But look, I don't know if you can see it. All, all the bikes in a row. What a lovely sight. Everyone's behaving themselves. Someone there taking a footage of all of us going past, that'll be lovely. Dartmoor ponies? Or is it Exmoor ponies? Dartmoor, aren't we? Dartmoor ponies. I think it was an Exmoor pony that we used to have. The Tentors event still Tentoring. I don't know whether you can see them snaking all up that hill. 
maybe we'll get a better view in a minute. Let's just wipe the lens just in case. I missed that yesterday. I was knackered then. What a sight. Yeah, I don't trust sheep with their lambs. I know they were that side of the road together, but I still don't trust them. Oh, what a shame about the fog. Never mind. Well, we're being cloud people. We're up into the clouds. Well and truly. You wouldn't believe there's a Mercedes just up ahead in front of this bike. You might just be able to pick up its lights when it breaks. So, Dartmoor, a well-known prison is on our right, if we take the road up here on our right. I'm not sure where we're going because I can hardly see a thing. We're going straight on. Famous residents of this neck of the woods, Mr Josh Widdicombe no less. There were four I believe there's something like four children in his year at school. Magnificent place to grow up. If a little close to comfort. Sorry, if a little close for comfort to the uh Dartmoor. Having said that, Dartmoor used to be a Category A prison, which was all the really worst people, uh, or the worst offenders, I should say. Not the worst people, the worst offenders. Uh, it's now Category C, which is the lowest category of um, secure prison. The, ne the only thing lower than that will be an open prison. However, it is still a prison, and it's notorious from its days of uh, holding Civil War prisoners, Napoleonic prisoners. Uh, I think they had conscientious objectors at some point as well, if I remember rightly. And it just got a reputation for being a particularly harsh environment. Can you imagine being out here? Wouldn't have been very good in the winter. There's actually two groups of us riding today um, because of the sheer numbers involved. They've separated into two separate groups. Um, and when you just look, as we're riding along, I say, I don't know whether the cameras pick it up, but when you just look, this is the YouTube community as far as, uh, as motorcycling is concerned. At its best, isn't it nice to be so out of something? Feel as if you're part of something special like this. I know I'm getting all deep and emotional about it, but it actually is quite a thing. It's really, really, really nice. 
I just thought I'd share that. I know you probably think I'm being a bit of a, a sentimental old fool, but uh, in these modern days, isn't it nice to have something that demonstrates um, positivity and friendliness? Look at that, as this group. wins its way across some of the picturesque parts of the uh, southwest peninsula. Jeff, you're doing us proud. Thank you very much for inviting us all out. I don't care what happens from here on in, this has been a really magical time. Thank you so much, Saddlebags. You've curated a lovely little route for us here. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I've enjoyed my time so far. Even with the weather. Of course, we don't get the weather like this in Wales, you know. It's always sunshine in Wales. In what seemed no time at all, we'd arrived at our first stop. This was for regrouping purposes, supposedly. However, it turned out to be much more of a, a natter break, drone shot taking break, um, YouTube filmers filming break for those that wanted to do it, and most deliciously, it has to be said, for a flapjack break. Flapjacks were absolutely delicious. If you missed out on them, you missed out on something special. Um, yeah, it was lovely. The reason nobody got lost on the day was because Saddlebags employed the second rider drop-off. Here you can see I was the second rider. So I dropped off at the junction so that I could pass on the information as to where to go to the following riders. Now the key to this system is that in the group, the first rider and the tail end Charlie always are the same people so it's the second rider drops off where the leader requests and then the uh, rider there is stationary is able to ensure everyone gets by what you'll notice is at the point I go is I'm just in front of the chap on the blue Royal Enfield 350 Meteor and I will then fire off that chap being talent Charlie knows the score we therefore know everyone has got round safe and sound so I'm now gone from the front to the back of the queue so it'd be the next person who was behind me will be at this junction coming up there you are there he is parked up to ensure that we now get through. He will now drop in behind me and everyone is back in the queue. So the person who is now behind saddlebags will be off at the next junction. This trip was fraught with bad camera uh, well, settings. All my own fault, there. sorry. Um, and this will be quite bad in here so apologies. So we had lunch at a place called John Rogers. It's a bike shop and uh, also does signage and some various, uh, various other bits and pieces uh, but also as you can see has got good catering facilities I had a very nice turkey roll uh, here you can buy all sorts of things now, there's a sofa which is a cow hmm yeah okay uh, clown fish <laughs> a dodgy looking biker, um, ready, um, Native Americans, another YouTuber, that's noob there, um, you can get a dinosaur, get yourself a dinosaur, strap it to the back of your bike and ride home. I did think about it for, ooh, must have been at least a nanosecond, somehow I think it might have been a problem. Get your deep sea divers here. 
Sharks, yeah, you get them, plenty of them. Hand looks like he's doing a fight, he's got a pair of black eyes. You get tigers in all shapes and sizes, cowboys. Um, pop art type models. <laughs> uh, nothing like a, uh, a big pezza or a curious goose to pick up. Uh, th th oh no, they're real, aren't they? Oh yeah, there we go, they're real. Um, yeah, uh, plenty of things to look at. Apparently, this is all for sale. People can buy them. Um, I imagine it's for um, restaurants and uh, pubs and what have you, and bars. I'm sure somebody's got them in their homes. In their homes. Pretty uh, amazing collection, I have to say. I'm sure during various bits of footage you will have been able to spot your favourite YouTube, but there's just so many there. There's Exit to Ride, uh, Western Super Motor Vlog, Western Super Motor Vlog. This one here? Yeah. Reprobate. Amazing how they got the life kits now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? I didn't think he'd ever move. Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah there was. Uh, Is it? So that's Curious Goose. Right. We've had Big Pezza there. Uh, yeah, loads of people made the effort to go all that way down to uh, Cornwall to go and see that's Saddleback amazing. 73. Well deserved turnout, I have to say. Um, here you see the classic thumb on lens cinematic technique. Uh, it shows that you know this is really done by a complete fool. And as you can see, the wide angle is just too wide an angle, really. So apologies, but I'd heartily recommend going to see uh, Johnny Rogers or see Maxis after a perfectly timed and the perfect duration lunch stop we are off riding again and as you can see it's trying to brighten up honestly it couldn't have been better it wasn't too hot it wasn't too cold i just love watching the bikes ride along hmm. now, i don't know if this is picking up we'll see later right so in front of us we have big pezza in front of him is new biker and then saddlebags at the very front So there you go, three auspicious uh, YouTubers. Big Pezza's on the um, bike for the Grand Challenge that uh, Nathan the Postman set up, which was buy a bike for under a thousand, make sure it's roadworthy as well for under that. And then there's a challenge for doing different miles Although the weather had been great after lunch, when it came to me packing up my tent, you can bet your bottom dollar it would do this, and it did. It absolutely poured out. Everything got soaked. And so I hurriedly packed everything away, jumped on the bike, and rode for home. Rather than taking the route that's most direct, um, which I took on the route down, I decided to go back on the motorways because it is actually slightly quicker, although about 50 miles longer. Um, so essentially, you jump on the A30, hit the bottom of the M5, ride the entire M5, up the M6 Junction 20, and ride across, I think it's the M56, I don't know the road number, I can never remember it. And that essentially then becomes a motorway straight into the dual carriageway here, it's the A494, becomes the A55, it's all on one road, and um, down to Bangor. And uh, yeah, I rode the whole trip home. Uh, I actually, proves how tired I was, I actually pulled in at the services to fill up with fuel and to grab a quick coffee. I walked into the services and the very pleasant staff there happily were able to tell me where I was because I hadn't got a clue. Apparently I was 10 minutes away from Worcester at the time. 
Uh, yeah, I was a bit tired by that time. Anyhow, I got home at uh, one o'clock in the morning, on the Monday morning. So I'd left at about 9.17, home by one o'clock the fol uh, Monday morning. So that's all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and then back. So I bet you're wondering what the figures look like. Well, the trip lasted 38 and three quarter hours, I think it worked out at. On Saturday, I did 341 and a half miles. Sunday, 428 and a quarter miles, which gives me a grand total of 769.8, give or, give or take a few bits. And I did the total of a 1238 kilometers so was it really worth it definitely finally got to meet many of my youtubing heroes had a really nice time everyone was so welcoming and so friendly it was absolutely amazing and uh, yeah i had a really good time the bike was faultless uh, riding wise and uh, yeah absolutely fantastic time thanks Sudwags for arranging organizing so professionally an absolutely superb event thanks again see you again soon